So we're going to turn on the server. And what we're going to try to do is set up our hard drives to match how our system is going to function. So that means giving one hard drive specific to our operating system for now. There's other solutions where we can use all four hard drives as the uh, actual storage and then uh, put in the operating system onto um, an SSD onto the uh, it's an install that we can do but we're not going to do that now. So we're going to turn on our computer, our server, you guys have seen this before, HP ProLiant DL360 PG8, there's the power button. So what we're going to try to do here is set up our hard drives. So we have a few arrays set up and we're going to try to adjust those to match our, uh, to match something that will work for us. So it's going to really reduce the size of the overall computer, but it will be something that will be safe and our data will be protected and backed up. So, so right now our computer is just booting. We've seen this before. using my handy dandy Logitech keyboard the USB is plugged in right there so it's just where this keyboard no big deal has a mouse and then uh, yeah so we're gonna try to go we're gonna try to do here we're gonna go into the HP provisioning section so I think that's a uh, that's one of the F10 keys <laughs> I'll tell you in a second. I'm sure it'll tell us, actually. Alright, so it's detecting all of our information. Now we're going to try to go here, F10, Intelligent Provisioning, before this bar closes. F10, there we go. Now we wait, you can see we highlighted it. I don't know if you can see. You can bang on it a little bit more. I like our light show. So we're going to be adjusting these. Alright, we're into the Hewlett Packard Enterprise provisioning area, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. So it's going to do some work for us and then. We're going to get in there and start to edit our drives. It's nice that it's just a simple kind of GUI. I don't know much about programming, and if I can set up a RAID this way, you know, it means you're not really a programmer, you're more of a. Um, I don't even know how to get this stuff to work. So maybe I'm even on a different level. But I think the goal is to. When the lights are spinning, it's a positive sign. Once you get it set up, it's done. Then you can move on. Then we can do cooler things. All right, this is where the computer does a lot of the work for us. So normally, I would try to fill this in, but as I click on these, these are all dead. Um, see, they don't really give me. As the box will pop up in three. No, a little early. No, give it a minute. It's nice when you see it so many times. There you go. What was that, like 15 seconds too early? Okay. We've been here before. The ProLiant DL360P Gen 8. Configure and install or perform maintenance. The uh, We're basically working with our drives now. So we're going to watch these change as we go. We're going to perform some maintenance.